who I never could place Michael Hutchins, but I'll be able to see He's him there. He's the sexiest man on earth. Earlier on, that in Australia um, the music is more important than image, and in England mm. everyone's very concerned about your trousers. Mm. I'm not your surprised. Trousers, yeah. Actually, looking at those, but um, do you find that's happening to you a lot? Mm. Yeah, well, people sort of looking and say, "Well, you know, you have to dress a certain way to play a certain music." You, you know, it like happens what? all over the place. I don't know. We're not really concerned. We're just concerned with our music. And how would you describe Comfortably it? Comfortably, we dress. Comfortably, yes. Yeah. <laughs> they look a little tight to me. Now, um, how would you describe the music? Uh, uh, r rock music. Now, in all the, um, the polls that I was reading in Countdown magazine, mm. Mm, yeah. you know, when it came to Sexiest Man, mm. you won. Is there a category for that? Yeah. Man? Sexiest I don't Man. Read them. Now, what, what about did they Paul win? Mel Gibson? What's he now? Al Mel, yeah, he's, you know. Just forget yeah, it, eh? Forget it, yeah. Oh, see. I'm really yeah. sad. Now we're now going to turn from all that, and we've hit all the high points in that conversation, back to Jules and Robbie. I hope. 